You don't want a rich man. You want riches. Welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Sharice and I am here to help you thrive. I do that by helping you work through your trauma and letting go of toxic relationships. If you are ready to live the life of your dreams, to do all the things that you've been wanting to do, but you've been too busy waiting for this birthday, for this job, for this location, for this relationship, I am here to give you permission to just start doing the thing. Start doing it now and everything you want will flow. So I've got three major areas that I want you to pay attention to if you are, you know, very focused on thriving at this time. But first, I want to remind you that you do not have to earn rest, right? No matter what you do during the day, you still need to sleep at night, okay? And from the daily routine to the weekly routine to the monthly routine, you need to have rest built in. You don't have to earn it. There's not a special thing you have to do to have rest. You literally need it so that you can function at your best potential. So the first area we're going to talk about is the riches. Like, how are you going to get that money, okay? And what you pick as your career, I think, is very important. But even more important than that is your financial literacy. If you have not already figured out your money habitudes, your thoughts and feelings about money, that's where you need to start. After that, like there's endless education about finances, even like Bitcoin, the people who are experts in finance still have to learn about Bitcoin because there are always changes happening because humans are always evolving. But you really need to start with strengthening your savings muscle, learning about investment, learning like what is money? What is money good for? How do we let this energy flow so that you can have it flow into your life? The goal is to remove any blockages that you have to money and then Figure out how much the lifestyle you want costs so that you can work backwards to figure out how much money do you need to make plus more and more, more, right? Like how much abundance can you allow in your life to live the life of your dreams? But it has to start with money, right? Money, I, I consider it a symptom of how we live our life. And so you don't have to be a good person to have a lot of money. You just need to understand how money works in order to attract money to you. Sometimes that means taking a career break or switching careers or switching jobs. Uh, as Stephanie Perry would say, these jobs ain't loyal. I want you to really examine what has this current role that you're in done for you? Have you learned something? Have you gotten a certain amount of money? What would the next role look like for you and what's the timeline for it? And if you're at a point in your career where you know, you're comfortable, where, where things are at, have you considered taking a break? Have you considered, you know, taking a month or two or three of a sabbatical so that you can explore more of yourself? Uh, I would encourage you to follow Stephanie Perry. She's here on YouTube and her channel, I think, is phenomenal. I introduce it to a lot of different women, different types of women, I think, but who I would encourage to expand their way of thinking so that they can welcome in new ideas and new ways of meeting like long goals that they've had before but haven't brought to creation. The second area that I would like you to learn more about is fun, fun, like play. And I think there are people who are focusing on, you know, encouraging more adults to play because in the downtime when you're not working, what are you doing? I think it is very, very important on a day-to-day -day basis that we are doing things that fulfill us, that bring us joy, hence all my plants because these things make me so happy but what is it that you could use as an outlet for expressing your love and appreciation for life and being alive if you don't know what that is i have another video i forget the title about how you can explore your interests that goes through um like your birthday personality and you know your career interests and some hobbies that they would recommend that you try because this is a trial and error period there are no right answers this is your life and you're shifting into a different lifestyle and so one of the things you're going to do is just experiment and explore and try different things to see what sticks like what really resonates with you and then do more of it like do more of it more of it it's currently my birthday month and typically during this month i go out every weekend i'm not a go out every weekend kind of person I have plenty of things that I can do that I love, love, love to do at home, uh, but I want to do more during my birthday. And so I just jam pack it full of all sorts of things that I really, really love. Um, and so then at the end of the month, I'm like, ah, how beautiful, how great. Like, oh my gosh, it's like my own personal new year. And then the last area that I think is super, super important for you to explore is building community. I think 
as a society, if you live in America, there is an underestimation about the importance of friends and support and, you know, whether the community is religious based or organizational based, it's just having a base of people, a foundation that you can go to for support and to learn more about yourself and who you don't have to over explain because at some point it's been built that there is trust and interest. And so they care about you. You know it for sure. And you can go there and just be among them and get the support you need. If you do not have um, a friend group or a big family that you're close to or a hobby that includes other people or um, an organization that you feel like an important part of, or maybe it's even your job. I don't trust these jobs, but maybe you play a, an important role at your job and you're in one of those companies that is really holistic based and run through love rare few and far between but maybe you're in one of those and you feel like you're really you know giving back and you're a supportive member of society just by being in this i think it's very important that you figure out um, how to spend time on a regular basis it doesn't have to be every week every month but just on a on a predictable basis you know you are going to spend some time with these people who you have a shared mission with of enjoying life or giving back or doing something wonderful for someone else and if you got this far in the video and you're still wondering, how do I get riches from this? Um, Ma'am, if you go to any financial advisor who's worth what they're worth, you will be surprised at the amount of emotional work they would be having you do. Okay? You would be surprised at the amount of emotional work that happy millionaires have done to maintain their money, to attract money, to live their best life. It takes work. This is the foundation building. So if you were looking for a man or if you're looking for retirement, that's years and years down the road. What I'm telling you is you have to do the foundational work now to live the life of your dreams. It just doesn't happen like this. No one who's built wealth, whether they're a good, good person or not, no one did it overnight. And the folks that got money overnight lost it overnight. The hard work of building a life of richness, of wealth, of luxury, it takes time, it takes consistent effort of building a sustainable routine that feels so beautiful that every day, every breath feels like a blessing. So leave me a nice comment, <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and thank you for watching.